Top of the morning everyone, my name is Thierry and today is the two minute career update. Two minute career update, today's topic, very simple, it's going to be very short and I'm going to put a timer for myself because I need to try and make sure that I do purely two minutes. Now, the topic that I want to talk about is the system rejected my application. Hi, listen, sorry, the system rejected my application. I don't know why I was rejected or the system did this or there was an automatic rejection on the system and, 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 and. Now, fortunately, I have worked with quite a lot of uh, what they call applicant tracking systems. Um, and there's been a lot of misinformation about the fact that if you use um, PDF, the system will reject your resume or if you use Word, the system will reject your resume. Um, that's that's bad information. Unfortunately, it doesn't that doesn't happen. The system won't reject your application based on any one of those. Now, the only time where there's actually a system rejecting your uh, application is that there is normally an, a message that's sent back and that message is normally sent back by the recruiter. There's a system generated response that then reaches your inbox. It is not that that system is actually uh, rejected your application and the reason why there's that system generated response is that the system report response or the response to every candidate needs to be factual and it should not necessarily start talking about things that are cannot be substantiated so it has to be factual it needs to be consistent and it needs to be applied across the board so if you get rejected at two in the morning just know that at 2 in the morning, there's some recruiter out there at 2 in the morning that's either working or this recruiter is based in another country. So the time difference is at the time when you're passed out is the time when they're, they're actually recruiting. So you'll find that, for example, I have looked after some of the areas in the US and some of these different areas in Singapore or different areas. And unfortunately, what then happens is if I reject somebody at 8 or 9 in the morning in, uh, in South Africa, it ends up sending that message to that person at in the middle of the night and in their minds they're like there's no way there's a recruiter that's actually out there working that has rejected my application and that is why so and i know my two minutes is just gone but systems don't normally reject that and this is because also there's no standardized resume that everybody's using that we can all say this is what a standardized resume needs to look like Yes, AI exists where it identifies specific things and can compare different candidates. But the reason why you can never actually make sure that the system automates the rejection is because every piece of information that's available in somebody's resume has got a lot more detail that sometimes AI cannot extract. That is why I would rather say, so if the AI identifies something specific in the resume, we want to be the ones that go through that resume and agree with the AI that whatever they've done is actually correct. I've worked with systems like uh, People Fluent. I've worked with iRecruit. I've worked with Workday. I've worked with um, Graylink. I've worked with so many different systems that are all applicant tracking systems. Now, unfortunately, they are not at that stage where the companies or the businesses are willing to let these systems reject candidates. So if you get a rejection in the middle of the night, just know that there's a recruiter out there that's busy looking at everybody's profile. Thank you once again, Top of the Morning with City. Until we meet again. Cheers.